Few go to football club, many go it an investment. Oh, what am I doing here? Most go with plastic fans. But today I'm calling it my match. Today I will be going to one of the most hated clubs in Germany. I'm still new to Germany and all I've heard about these two teams is that they are fake. It's not so great. It's basically a shithole. It's horrible there, like, don't go. And the list goes on. I'm curious to see with my own eyes. Now, I obviously have been to a lot of games before, but most of the time I have followed the list of big successful clubs. So I actually haven't spent that much time with the smaller teams. That all changes today. I will be going all in with the fans and hopefully they won't kick me out. I'm honestly pretty oblivious to everything about these two teams, so I might learn a lot. I want to do this challenge to explore more of the German football culture. Be among the people, hear their stories and see what's the difference between the big clubs created by the people and the clubs created by big firms. But I want to hear from German people first as a little precaution. What do you think of clubs as Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim? I think you'll have a hard time because they don't have any fans at all. It's a waste of time and money. Tomorrow I'm actually going to Wolfsburg. I have a ticket spare. Would you come with me to Wolfsburg Hoffenheim? No, thanks mate. What? And because some people might think it's weird and crazy, doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Be safe, stay adventurous my friends, and above all, make it count. So we did. Right guys, we have arrived in Wolfsburg. The city center of Wolfsburg and the stories are true there is literally nothing here however if you want to have some drinks and some good food there are still loads of options in the city center so let's see if we can join some fans and have a beer with them and hear their stories why they support Wolfsburg yeah, I'm here with nice Wolfsburg fans what's the reason why you support Wolfsburg I uh, sat on the couch with my dad I saw the green jersey from Wolfsburg no. and I said this is my club and <laughs> so I'm show, show me the, show me the jersey that's it. Why is Wolfsburg getting so much hate? Because we are financed by Volkswagen. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> no, Volkswagen. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was very emotional going to the stadium. And you're still emotional right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is how German people post. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to meet the fans, have a beer with them. Now it's time to go to the stadium, to the match. Wolfsburg. Oh. I'm here with really nice Wolfsburg fans, they're having a beer. What does Wolfsburg mean to you? For me, Wolfsburg is my city, is my hometown. I was growing up here, and it's my, it's my club. Why people hate on Wolfsburg? Like, what's the reason? I think a big part is that the money comes from Volkswagen. Yeah. We are bought from Volkswagen. Investors are everywhere. We see city, every big club has big investors. But here is still a good atmosphere. The atmosphere is great for me. Well, our problem is with the atmosphere here. We have a lot of workers here with yeah. Volkswagen. So yeah. there are many people going to work for Volkswagen. Not sold out every day, but it's okay. All people that are here are here for the uh, for the club, yes. are here for the fans yes. and for the team. Score predictions? 4-2 uh, for Wolfsburg. 3-1 for Wolfsburg. We must go. 4-0 for Wolfsburg. <laughs> He's a legend. Like honestly, this is what it's all about. I'm just talking to complete strangers. I get a beer, we have a nice chat about football and we connect. And that's just what makes it so nice. Now it's time to go inside and enjoy Wolfsburg. <laughs>
shame to see each other probably embarrassing here in the stadium. But I have to say the North Coover with Ulf Azar is putting up a decent atmosphere. I think it's really cool to celebrate it with the Ultras. The world and the internet in particular is so often built on jealousy. Seeing on what someone is or has done and feeling left out or less than. If the experience of today has taught me anything, it's to hold on to the things you love even closer. I think in the end these fans have all that matter. A family, friendships, happiness made around the club. The easiest things to take for granted are the people and places you see every day. I don't want that to happen. I think that's why I love going to these places. To expect the unexpected. When the noises fade away and you end up with a pure authentic feeling. The internet is filled by a narcissist. But at the end, the stadiums won't remember who I am.